Good evening, students, and welcome to my next video. In this video, I'll be discussing the answers of class 12, Total English, Unit 3. The grammar exercises of Unit 3, the answers of the grammar exercises of Unit 3, class 12, latest, latest edition, will be discussed in this video. So starting with the assignment one given on page 47. The answer to the first sentence is the officer ordered his men to halt. Second one, turning to her friend, she said goodbye for now. The answer is she turned and said goodbye to her friend. Full stop. Third one, he prayed that God might forgive her. Full stop. The fourth one, David told his friends that it was a pleasant evening. I forgot to write A there, but you can write. So David told his friends that it was a pleasant evening. A will be written here. Okay. So David told his friends that it was a pleasant evening. Full stop. The answer to the fifth one is the men exclaimed that it was a good luck. He regretted with pity that she had not come. Seventh one. Anand exclaimed that he was very wise. The spectators applauded Rahul saying that he had played well. Ninth one, the teacher exclaimed with wonder that Rose was an intelligent girl. Full stop. Tenth one, the boy exclaimed sorrowfully that he had done a rash deed. Full stop. Moving ahead to assignment two, page 48 of your books. The answer to the first one is O. In what commas begin? Then O, exclamation mark, what a terrible storm it was. Close the inverted commas, put the comma, and then she said, full stop. Second one, Susan complained that the sandwich tasted horrible. Begin the inverted commas. O, oh, exclamation mark. The sandwich tastes horrible. Close the inverted commas, then put a comma. Susan said. Third one. They prayed that God might protect the country. They said, comma, begin the inverted commas. May God protect the country. Full, uh, full stop and then close the inverted commas. She called upon heaven to witness her resolve never to cheat again. Answer is, begin the inverted commas, help me, comma, heaven, exclamation mark, close the inverted comma, she cried, comma, begin the inverted commas again, I will never cheat again, and close the inverted comma. There should be two inverted commas here. I thought to put two inverted commas. Okay. So two inverted commas before him. Help me. Answer to the fifth one is she said, comma, begin the inverted commas. What a great fool I have been. Exclamation mark and close the inverted commas. They said, comma. Begin the inverted commas. Wow! Exclamation mark. Our friend has succeeded. Full stop and close the inverted commas. Seventh one. The tourist said, comma. Begin the inverted commas. What a splendid monument! Exclamation mark and close the inverted commas. Amit said, comma. Inverted commas begin. Last. 
exclamation mark destiny has reduced me to such a state full stop and close the inverted comma ninth one mr sharma said to his friends comma inverted commas begin hurray exclamation mark i have won a lottery full stop and close the inverted comma the tenth one he said to the audience comma inverted commas begin please be quiet and listen to my words full stop and close the inverted comma moving ahead to assignment 3 on page 50 of your books change the following into indirect speech the answer to the first one is the postman inquired whether mrs gupta was at home second one my hostess asked me if i had slept well full stop third one they inquired when we intended to pay them fourth one he asked her whether she thought that it was a proper answer to give full stop fifth one the driver inquired of the policeman where he could park his truck full stop sixth one rajat asked me why i looked so sad that day full stop seventh one he asked the man why he was lying on the road eighth one the teacher asked the boy why he was absent the previous day full stop ninth one i asked the porter when the next train came in the tenth one uma asked whether there were any letters for me assignment 4 first one you have to change it into direct speech the answer to the first one is Rita said to Nitin, "Comma, begin the inverted commas. Did you make a mistake? Question mark and close the inverted comma. Second one, I said to Paul, "Comma, begin the inverted commas. Will you lend me a pen? Question mark and close the inverted comma. Third one, she said to us, "Comma, begin the inverted commas. Are you playing football?" question mark it will be are we playing football it's like whether we were playing football so this will be are we playing football so the correction he said to us comma begin the inverted commas are we playing football question mark and close the inverted no no this one was correct sorry it will be are you only this is fine this is fine i'm so sorry she said to us comma begin the inverted commas are you playing football question mark and close the inverted comma fourth one she asked if he would like to go to the temple with her she said to him comma begin the inverted commas will you like to go to the temple with me question mark and closed the inverted comma mother asked who had been using her computer mother said comma begin the inverted commas who has been using my computer question mark and closed the inverted comma the man asked me how old i was the man said comma begin the inverted commas how old are you question mark and closed the inverted comma seventh one the student asked the teacher when the school would close the answer is the student said to the teacher comma begin the inverted commas when will the school close question mark and close the inverted eighth one i said to them 
comma, inverted commas begin. Which way are you going? Question mark and close the inverted comma. Ninth one. I said to her, comma, begin the inverted commas. Will you like to buy a book? Question mark and close the inverted comma. The tenth one. The policeman said to the girl, comma, begin the inverted commas. Where are you going? Question mark and close the inverted commas. Moving ahead to the next exercise on prepositions. Fill in the blanks using appropriate prepositions. This exercise is on page 57 of your book. The first one, he put on the radio to listen to the news. Second one, put by something for your old age. Third one, the rich should stand up for the poor. His work stands out from others. Fifth, the light suddenly went out. Sixth one, go away. I don't want to talk to you. Seventh one, my car broke down on the highway. Eighth one, terrorism has broken up a lot of families. Ninth one, she backed out of the contract. Tenth one, he did not back up his staff during the inquiry. Eleventh one, he came down with the flu over the weekend. Twelfth one, I haven't come across him for a long time. Thirteenth one, we should do away with our vices. Fourteenth one, he could do with a cup of coffee. Fifteenth one, the plan fell through for want of funds. Sixteen, the quality of goods has fallen off. Seventeenth one, what time do your classes get over? Eighteenth one, she found it difficult to get on with her office people. Nineteenth one, the teacher handed out the list of the books on the first day of class. 20th one, when I arrived at the airport, I handed in my passport. Moving forward to page 59, that is the specimen paper, question three, part A of the specimen paper on page 59. The first one, how costly the cell phone is, he complained. The answer is, he complained about the cell phone being costly. Full stop. Second one, few people study Latin these days. Answer is, hardly anybody studies Latin these days. Full stop. Third one, if his fever goes high, take him to the hospital. Answer is, should his fever go high, comma, take him to the hospital. Full stop. Fourth one, you can sit here if you do not disturb me. The answer is, you can sit here provided you do not disturb me. Fifth one, as you sow, comma, so you will reap. The answer is, you will reap what you will sow. Full stop. Answers to the part B. It's uh, question three, part B. The specimen paper three. Fill in each blank with a suitable word. She burst into tears to see her lost puppy. Second one, the cloud burst through the clouds. Third one, he could not work out the sum. Fourth one, Antony worked up the feelings of the Roman mob by his speech. Fifth one, the taxi drew up outside the house. Sixth one, the army is now drawing back. Seventh one, the situation calls for prompt action. Eighth one, he called out for help. Ninth one, you can carry on with your business without any trouble. Tenth one, he carried forward his plan with great courage. Moving ahead to part C of question three on page 16 of your book. On the right side of the house of a minister, there lived a blacksmith and on the left side, a carpenter. The blacksmith and the carpenter made, the answer to the first blank is made, 
noise, night and day, and disturbed. The answer to the second blank is disturbed the minister. When he could not take it anymore, the minister called the two and demanded. The answer to the third blank is demanded that they move their houses. One day, both the blacksmith and the carpenter visited. The answer to the fourth blank will be visited the minister and said, Your Excellency, we are moving our houses today as desired by the youth. The answer to the fifth blank is desired. The minister was relieved to hear this, but pretended to be sorry. Answer to the sixth blank will be pretended to be sorry at losing them as neighbor. Answer to the seventh blank will be losing. He treated them to good food and sent. The answer to the eighth blank will be sent them off. But strangely enough, the noise of sawing and hammering continued. He called his servants and ordered them to find out what was going on. The answer to the ninth blank is going. The servants came back with the news that the carpenter and the blacksmith did move houses as they had promised. The answer to the tenth blank will be had promised. But the carpenter had moved to the blacksmith's house and the blacksmith to the carpenter's. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.